Larger crowds were seen at some hawker centres and coffee shops today as they opened up to welcome groups of five vaccinated diners. 18 of them are the first to implement vaccination checks at entry points. Some stores say they have already been up to a 20% increase or they have seen up to 20% increase in customer numbers. Sherlin Sia reports. <laughs> A simple tap of your Trace Together app or token on this tablet to check if you've been vaccinated. Four entry points like this have been set up around Tiong Baru Market. It's one of 11 hawker centres to have begun taking in groups of five vaccinated diners. Crowds are already picking up. I'm here with my brother and my son. Yeah, so actually uh, very happy uh, because uh, we haven't seen each other between the two families. We haven't seen each other for, for a while because of the restrictions. We have not been eating together for almost a month. Yeah, so I'm very happy that uh, now it's open up. I don't need to prep my head every day what to cook and uh, go for marketing. Hawkers are hoping the new rules will be a much needed boost. Vaccination checks at hawker centres are overseen by the authorities. But it's another picture for privately owned coffee shops. They have to foot their own bills to set up dedicated entry points and a vaccination status checking system. I think it's a worthwhile investment because if we want business, we have to do the necessary. The food we serve here is zita. It's basically meant to be shared among friends, family, in big groups. Beyond the first 18 venues, others are also getting ready to accept groups of five vaccinated diners. Singapore has around 110 hawker centres managed by the National Environment Agency and all of them are expected to have entry checks in place by the end of this month. For the remaining privately owned coffee shops, around 2,000 of them island-wide, the Singapore Food Agency is also engaging them to put in place such measures so that they may take in increased group sizes as well.